Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about poker games for the Sony PSP. In World Series of Poker Tournament of Champions, you create your own character and start playing. There are 4 casinos with 4 events, each for the preliminary rounds, and then there's the final round at Rio in Las Vegas. And along the way to the top, you'll encounter many real-life pro players. Also during play, later in the game you'll even get a tool that tells you statistics, like how likely it is for you to win with the hand you have. It won't help you win matches, but it may prevent you lose some. In Rust, the AI could have been better. I mean, it's easy to fool the other players into losing the game if you go all in. Also the presentation could have been better. The character models, well, the PSP can handle way more than this. And the commentary is a little bland. But one killer aspect was the multiplayer. Playing online poker matches with other people should have been fun for those who had the game back in the day. All in all, it's a pretty decent game. It has parts to improve, but it's not bad either. You can have fun with the game. World Series of Poker 2, featuring Howard Lederer, is an excellent sequel. Right from the start you can spot the graphical improvement. The game looks like a PS2 game, which means job well done for a PSP. The game doesn't have only Texas Hold'em, even if it's the most popular game, but it has 14 different variants of poker. And in the career mode, the game gets you through all of the different game styles. In the game you can get two types of abilities, hand strength, and abilities that have something to do with the bluff minigame. Hand strength gives you statistics, telling you how the odds are to win the hand. It's similar to the one in the previous game and it's really useful. The stare down ability forces you to play the bluff minigame, which is annoying. The stone face ability makes the annoying minigame less frequent and the actor ability makes the bluff zone larger so that the minigame is less annoying. In World Series of Poker 2008, you can see more clearly the evolution the series took from the first game. In the career mode, you are again a nobody that starts at the amateur league and wins matches till he gets to the pros. Also aside of money, your pursuit is to win the player of the year award, which grants you the ability to play in harder leagues. Also between your official matches, you also get phone calls from gamblers that invite you to their games. You can accept it if you want and play in a hotel. The price will be only money, No, not you don't get player of the year points for playing in hotels. But you get money and some extra cash never hurt. The AI is improved, but still it's not clever enough, even if it's smarter than last year Still, you'll see them doing some risky, stupid moves, which ruin the realism of the game. Overall, the game is good, but it still would have had a lot to improve. Too bad that they didn't continue making poker games on the PSP. Improving the games with each installment would have gotten them at some point to the ultimate poker experience on the PSP. But even so, the games aren't bad. They are decent. If you are into poker games, then it's worth it's worth trying them out if you have a PSP. They aren't really something, but they are still good. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.